it's a scorcher. And I can tell you that uh, we had a 25 rider breakaway today. Best placed off them was Rudy Mollard at 3 minutes and 46. But it's since fractured on some of the climbs, and we have an out and out favourite for today. Alessandro De Marquez here for BMC, along with Rosetto from uh, Cofidis. And this is a proper fighting force. Rosetto and uh, De Marchi have actually separated. Um, so it wasn't amicable. Um, Rosetto's uh, gone backwards. He's around 8, 10, possibly 12 seconds by the time we get there. Well, one has become three out front. Walker Mollimer, Simo Clark, um, and Alessandro De Marchi now proper fighting force. It should be sustainable. And maybe one of this th these three are going to win it today. We're not, it's just under nine kilometers from the top of this climb and then it's going to be very quick down and into town and if you've got something left in the legs then make it uh, known now and David Villela goes and Rudy Mollard is uh, on his case and yet again Flores de Tia gets a free ride from him it's getting busy back here Andre Amador as well minute 37 they're kind of doing a, a, a calculation Sean uh, to steal one of your favorite phrases once they go over the top here uh, minute 38 is catchable if you've got the legs and some uh, some firepower around you this is not what you want. Um, flat tyre for uh, Bolka Mollema, and uh, at exactly the wrong time, 4Ks from the top of today's peak. This is the uh, chief pursuer at the moment of the duo up front, and uh, he's got back to them. That is sterling effort by Bolka Mollema, and all praise to him, Sean. Um, I guess the blessing for him was he's a half-decent climber, and he's shown that right now coming back from this puncture. Uh, finally, we reach what is the uh, King of the Mountains point, uh, it's a uh, two, a category two, so uh, five points on offer as we go up and over the top for the uh, first across the line, but they're not that bothered about that. This is now about managing the descent. 44 seconds, uh, the gap to these guys, 43 now, they're pushing on. Right, watch the other trio suddenly come into your screen. This is a very long lens. That's why it's shaking. And there they go. Here they are right now. And uh, Simon Clark realizes they're on the case. Here's Molara who's going to be in the red jersey tonight. But for how long? We'll wait and see deeper into this race. Simon Clark's waiting. Uh, the jump is going to come from Bolka Molimer. He's behind. Uh, Demarkey is there. But uh, I think Demarkey is the marked man today. Molimer's going to make the most move. Here goes out. Will he squash Simon Clark out? Don't know because the camera's not following them. Here they go. Simon Clark comes through. Simon Clark all the way. ahead of uh, Molimer with Demarkey there in third place and here comes the new race leader on the back of this group amazing David Vielle crosses the line just ahead of Flores de Tia but Rudy Mollard of France goes into the lead of this race yeah I mean just amazing I mean I worked so hard since I had last won a stage here and I just couldn't repeat it and it's just taken me so long to get back there and have my stars aligned and even today, I, I, I wasn't sure it was possible. I, I knew I had good legs, but when you have a breakaway with so many riders, there's never, uh, the cooperation is never very good. And, you know, as we saw, as you saw, uh, the winning move was, went on the descent. So it was, it was a tricky one to pick, but, uh, you know, I just, I knew I had good legs and I just had to pray that the moves, the ones I was doing were the right ones. Yeah, how did you make it uh, in the last three kilometers? Oh, I mean, I was just thinking... <laughs> I grew up on the track since I was 15. It was just like track racing. Um, and I knew that... I, I, I know uh, Demarkey's fast, but such a long stage, you know, it's, it's so hard to sprint after that. And even I was cramping when uh, Mollimer attacked and I just rode through it and I just backed myself. And, you know, I was, I was so worried that they were going to catch us from behind, but... In that situation, you just got to be as cold as ice and just uh, you got to be willing to lose to win. And so I was, and I uh, come out on top. Thank you, Simon.